Hello and a warm welcome. This is Top Stories on Viewer Television. I am Chinon Supam. And now President Bola Tinubu has approved that plans for the 2023 national census be suspended. Tinubu is, however, expected to fix a new date for the national population and housing census. You'll recall that the initial date set for the conduct was postponed indefinitely in April this year. The chairman of the National Population Commission, MPC Nasir Kwara, made this disclosure to State House correspondents after his delegation gave the president a full brief at the Asuro Presidential Villa in Abuja. He noted that the visit to the president afforded the commission opportunities to submit each report to the president. According to Kwara, the president is expected to study and come to an informed decision of when the exercise will be held nationwide. The president of Nigeria, Bola Tinubu, again, and former Vice President Yemi Osimbajo have joined 30 million orders on Meta's own Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp new platform known as Threads. This is at Meta's chief executive officer, Mark Zuckerberg, noted that the company is setting its sights on 1 billion users soon. Threads, which launched on Thursday is over in over 100 countries, I beg your pardon, now has 30 million users, according to Zuckerberg. He stated that in the first two hours of launching the app, he had 2 million signups, which increased to 5 million in the first four hours. Zuckerberg noted that the app has 10 million signups in seven hours. He revealed this on the app. At about 4 p.m. Nigerian time, he typed, Wow, 30 million signups as of this morning. Feels like the beginning of something special. But we've got a lot of work ahead to build out the app. And now the organized private sector welcomed the tax suspension announced by President Bola Tinubu, noting that they showed the federal government was sensitive to the challenges facing businesses and citizens. The private sector operators, however, pointed out that the tax suspensions were inadequate to curb rising inflation and other microeconomic headwinds threatening the survival of many local businesses. They therefore asked the president to implement additional tax waivers and incentives in order to reduce the high cost of doing business, addressing rising inflation and tackle the various economic challenges affecting businesses. And to boost manufacturing and ease of doing business, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu signed four executive orders, that is EOS. The motive of the EOs, which suspended some key taxes, is to boost economic activities and reduce hardship. The presidency said that the president also suspended the 2023 Finance Act 2023, deferring the date of the commencement from 28 May 2023 to 1st of September in 2023. Some of the suspended taxes were issued through executive orders by former President Mohamed Buhari at the twilight of his administration. They include corporate income tax, import duties, export duties, excise duties, rents, capital gains tax, personal income tax, value added tax, stamp duties, and others. And the All Progressives Congress, APC, in Kano State has asked the immediate past governor of the state, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduji, not to honor the invitation extended to him by the State Public Complaints and Anti-Corruption Commission over the controversial dollar video. According to the party, the recent revisiting of the case, which is already before a court of law, appears to be politically motivated and aimed at tarnishing the image of the former governor. In a statement jointly signed by Abdullahi Abbas, the chairman of the party, and Zakari Serina, the secretary, the APC revealed that the current campaign of calumny is intended to create a rift between President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Ganduji, who is known as one of the president's strongest allies in the north. And the Independent National Electoral Commission, known as INEC, has revealed that it will commence the prosecution of resident electoral commissioner at Damawa State, who do Yunusa Ari, in line with the Electoral Act 2022 next week. The commission rose from its regular weekly meeting and resolved to file a six-count charge against him at Adamawa State High Court, sitting in Yola. 
In a statement by National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, the electoral umpire noted that the court has fixed Wednesday, July the 12th for commencement of trial, tagged prosecution of REC Yunusa Ari. The statement read, INEC held its regular weekly meeting today and discussed, among other issues, the progress with the prosecution of electoral offenders. And that's all on Top Stories. Many thanks for watching. I am Chinon Sopan. Please do stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.